Hi, I'm Roberto Posada. I'm an associate professor of pediatrics and a pediatric infectious disease specialist at Travis Children's Hospital at Mount Sinai. Yes, we're worried that we may have two epidemics going on at the same time. On the one hand, uh, the COVID pandemic, and on the other hand, the usual flu epidemic. Um, and having these two running at the same time may overwhelm our healthcare system. Children can be affected by either the flu or by COVID, uh, and the symptoms may be very difficult to differentiate. There's a lot of overlap between the symptoms of the flu and the symptoms of COVID. In both cases, children can have fever or a runny nose or a cough uh, and just feel unwell. Uh, sometimes there may be also abdominal pain or vomiting. So what is really tricky is that it may be impossible in one single patient to tell whether the fever or the runny nose or the cough is due to COVID or to the flu without doing uh, testing. Uh, there are some symptoms that tend to be more common in patients with COVID. Uh, in general, patients with the flu don't get as, as sick. Some, some children with COVID can develop rash and high fever several weeks after COVID, and we don't see that with the flu. But as a general rule, the two illnesses are very, very similar, and the only way to tell one from the other one is to do a test, to have your doctor do a test. I think that's the most important question that you've asked me because it's all about prevention. Um, as, as I mentioned before, we're worried that with the flu and COVID going on at the same time, it can overwhelm our healthcare system. It may be difficult to get uh, a doctor's appointment at the last minute and so forth. So prevention is really, really key. Uh, one very important thing that everybody should do is to get their flu shot. And every child aged six months and older can get the flu shot is a safe vaccine uh, that can decrease the chances of people getting the flu. And if people get the flu, even if they had the, the flu shot and they still get the flu, usually it's gonna be a very mild case of the flu that they get. So very important part is to get the flu. The other part is what we all have been hearing around in the media, we have to continue to wash our hands with water and soap or hand sanitizer uh, frequently, certainly uh, before and after eating, uh, after touching surfaces that may be contaminated like doorknobs or handles, um, after uh, going to the bathroom, et cetera, wearing um, masks to prevent the spread of COVID and maintaining those six feet of distance uh, between people, uh, social distancing is very, very important. Avoiding crowds, not going to uh, the mall if you don't have to go. Uh, this is a time to stay, stay home and protect ourselves. Uh, those practices that are that we've been doing for the last year to prevent the spread of COVID, uh, the social distancing, the mask wearing, the hand washing, are also going to prevent the spread of the flu. If you think your child is sick, for example, if your child has a fever or a cough uh, that lasts more than a day or two or seems particularly severe or running nose that is lasting more than a couple of days, uh, the first thing sh you should do is to call your pediatrician. Uh, better to call ahead of time than to just show up because due to COVID, a lot of our practices have um, certain restrictions on when they want to see sick patients to prevent uh, sick patients to be, from being in the same room as, as healthy patients. So the first thing uh, should be for you to call uh, your pediatrician and then follow their advice as to whether it's necessary for the child to be seen and get tested or whether based on your discussion on the phone with the pediatrician, it's something that um, you can wait and see how things go. Um, of course, if you think that your child is having difficulty uh, breathing or is not himself, very, very sleepy, then you should call 911 or go to the closest emergency room. 
to make an appointment with a pediatrician at Mount Sinai, you can call 212-241-4242.